What's going on everyone? Welcome to another one of my videos. Today, I will be talking about Photoshop on the iPad. That's right, the app is finally available. It is far from being perfect as you may see in other videos, but I intend to make the best out of it. Shall we begin? Let's go! So, first of all, if you already have a subscription for the Photoshop desktop version and Lightroom, you can download it directly from the App Store. or from the Adobe Creative Cloud app. I've already transferred some PSD files onto my uh, Dropbox to use as examples. Raw files are not compatible uh, in this app yet, so uh, let's export the file in Photoshop right away. Photoshop. Alright, so the first step would be uh, to take away all the hair that is flying in front of her face. I will make a copy of the background and use the spot healing brush tool for this. You may have noticed there's a little button at the bottom left side on the screen. Well, depending on the tool you have selected, it will give you different options. For example, when I select the brush tool and press on the button, it will change to erase as it says on the top right. And if I slide uh, to the outer part of the circle, it will give me the uh, another option. In this case, it is the eyedropper. So every tool has different options which is really helpful and uh, will make the process easier when you edit your photos. Okay, for the next step, I would like to brighten up her eyes. I will add an adjustment layer by pressing and holding on the plus sign and uh, select adjustment layers. As you can see, you only have a handful of them for now. Usually I would use curves for this, but I will choose the exposure adjustment layer. Uh, it will do this job just fine. To see uh, the layers properties, select the sliders on the right. You will be able to adjust the effect from here. I will bring the exposure up a tad. Uh, let me zoom in. Right there. That's good. Now I will change the mask layer to black instead of white with the fill tool. I'm assuming that uh, you already have the knowledge about layer masks and their functionality. If not, I will add the link below to a video which will explain everything you need to know about them. My layer mask is now black. Now I can select the brush tool and paint where I want the adjustment to show. And here we go. I'm happy with that. Um, going back to the layers properties and play with the opacity a little bit. Cool. Next, I would like to whiten the white side of her eyes and her teeth. I'm adding a hue and saturation adjustment layer. I'm bringing the saturation down and the lightness up. Uh, and again, I will change the layer mask to black, take my brush tool and paint where I want to apply the effect.
I feel that the effect is a bit too strong, so uh, I'm gonna change the opacity here just a bit. There we go. Perfect. My next step would be dodging and burning. I usually group these two together. To do so, press and hold on the plus sign and choose new empty group. And then add a levels adjustment layer. This one will be used to do the dodging. So I'm bringing the exposure up by taking the white point to the left. Uh, changing the mask to black with the fill tool. Okay, we're gonna add another levels adjustment layer. And this time bring the exposure down by bringing the black point to the right. Changing the mask again to black. Uh, so now with my brush tool, I will add highlights to her skin and darken the shadow to make the image pop a little more. I will activate use pressure for opacity. That way, I'll be able to add the effect bit by bit on the image. Okay, I will now start the uh, burning session by selecting the other layer on top and I'm only going over the dark area with my brush tool to add more contrast. Alright, so now I'm going to take care of that section, that orange section over there uh, by using the uh, hue and saturation layer. So I'm just going to speed through it. Let's go. At this point, uh, I'm almost done. I'm going to do some minor correction to the image with the healing tool and some color correction with the uh, dodging and burning layers. So lastly, I am going to add a vignette to the image to bring out the subject. I'll add the uh, levels adjustment layer, darken the image like so. Change the mask to black and paint around Claudia. So now to export this file, select the export button on the top right. You will see two options here. Publish and export will give you more options to choose from, like the type of file, the quality, and the format. As for quick export, this will export your image as a JPEG directly. Just choose where you would like to save it and voila! And that's it everyone! I hope that you've enjoyed the video. If you did, please punch that like button and don't forget to subscribe to my channel.
Peace.